If you're looking to set up VPS hosting, this video is for you. My name is Charlie, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how to set up VPS hosting step-by-step -step the most affordable way. We'll go over what VPS hosting actually is, why you'd want it, how to set it up, and yeah, pretty much everything you need to know. So when it comes to hosting a website, there are three main ways to do it. You have shared hosting, you have VPS, and you have a dedicated server. Shared hosting is sort of like having a bunk bed in a big room. You're basically sharing everything, and if one person is noisy or loud, that's gonna affect everything everyone. A VPS is like having your own apartment within a building. You have your own key, so your own resources. You set your own rules and also your neighbors can't use your stuff. And then you have dedicated servers, which are the most expensive. And that's basically like having your own house. Now, for most people, they don't need a dedicated server and a VPS is a perfect middle ground. It's not that much more than shared hosting, but you get a lot more features and power. So if you want something that's a little bit faster than shared hosting, you want to be more in control and you want to start running automations or bots or anything like that, a VPS is a fantastic choice. And for me, I run a bunch of my own websites on a VPS. I use Hostinger and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up. So if you guys click on the link down below in the description, it's gonna take you to a page that looks something like this, or you can scan the QR code on the page. It's gonna take you to the same place. And yeah, this is what I use for my VPS. It's been amazing. It's also very affordable. If you guys know me, I'm all about saving money. It might look a little bit different depending on when you are watching this video, but if you're watching during Black Friday, they have this big, big sale going on right now. And I really encourage you to sign up now to basically lock an insane price. So I'm gonna click on claim deal right here, and it's gonna show us the four different options we have for the VPS. Now for almost all you guys watching this video, I'm probably just gonna recommend the KVM2 plan. You can see right here, it's $5.99 per month. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys how to save even more money with a coupon code. But yeah, this plan basically comes with two vCPU cores, eight gigabytes of RAM, 100 gigabytes of really fast disk space, and you get eight terabytes of bandwidth. Now that's probably gonna be enough for most of you. If you have really, really high usage, you might want to look at the KVM4 or KVM8 plan. But for this video, I'm just gonna stick with this one. So we'll click on choose plan. So it's gonna have you select how long you want to have this plan for. I definitely recommend doing at least 12 or 24 months. It's gonna lock you into this low rate and save you a ton of money. But of course, choose accordingly. And what you're gonna want to do is come here to have a coupon code, put in Charlie Chang, click apply, and that's gonna save an additional 10%. So yeah, as you can see, we're basically getting two years of VPS hosting for $130, which is insane. Now you can add daily auto backup if you want, but the free weekly backups are in my opinion enough. So I'm not gonna add that right here. You're gonna wanna select the server location. So since I'm in the US, this is the best one for me with only 40 milliseconds of latency. Basically, you're gonna wanna choose the location where most of your website viewers are going to be. And then we're gonna select our operating system right now. This is optional, so you don't have to do this. They have a bunch of different plain OSs. There's OS with panels, which I recommend for most people because it's a bit easier to use. And if you're trying to install a certain application, you'll want to come here. For example, if you want to run an N8N server, where you basically host all of your workflows and automations, you'll want to select this. If you're just having this VPS for a WordPress website, you'll want to choose this. But for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do an OS with panel. And we're gonna go with cloud panel just because it's you know pretty easy to use. But basically any of these is gonna be good. Docpo is popular, Coolify is popular, Easy Panel is also very popular. You can show more. But let's just go with cloud panel for this video. And yes, this is a free control panel. So we'll click on confirm. Then we're gonna go to continue. Here you're gonna register your account and then put in your payment information. So once you're in your dashboard, you're gonna set up your VPS. We're gonna create a panel password. This is what you're gonna use to log into your control panel. You also have the option to add an SSH key, but I'm just gonna leave that as is for now. We'll click on next. I do recommend having the malware scanner. It is free. Now it's gonna set up your VPS and this is gonna take about five minutes. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to manage your VPS. So if we click on this button right here, it's gonna take us to our Hostinger HPanel dashboard. So here you're gonna see some information about your VPS. You'll be able to change your root password here. We'll be able to also reboot the VPS if you want. Here's some more details about our VPS. And if you come here to settings, we'll be able to change the root password just like before, reset the firewall configuration, reset the SSH configuration. But for most of you guys, you don't need to play around with this. Now with a VPS at any time, we can definitely change the operating system. So if you think, hey, I want to do something else with my VPS, you can absolutely come here, choose whichever OS you want to use. So right, we can switch to Coolify or Cyber Panel, or we can even select an application. But just know that when you actually change the OS, it's going to wipe out all the information. So really keep that in mind. Here you can check out your backups and monitoring. So with your plan, it's going to come with weekly backups. 
You can also upgrade to have daily backups. And as you can see, this is a new VPS that I just set up for this video. So there are no backups, but this is where you would see them. You can see your server usage right here. If you come here to security, here we can play around with the malware scanner. So you always wanna make sure that this is active. If you wanna add a firewall, you can definitely do that right here. Here's the DNS manager. You're probably gonna to want to add a domain to your account. Let's do something like this. And of course you want to get the domain so you can either get it through Hostinger or you can get it through whatever other domain registrar. Now the tutorial section is actually really, really helpful because VPS, they are a bit more complicated than shared hosting. Definitely come here if you have any questions, any of the more specific questions because they're gonna show you how to do it. And yeah, this has saved my life many, many times. So highly recommend using that resource that Hostinger gives you. If we come back here to overview and we click on manage panel, this is where we're gonna be able to log in to our panel. So enter in the information that we created earlier. So now I'm gonna come here to sites and click on add site. You'll be able to select from a bunch of different types of sites, but for most of you, it's probably gonna be a WordPress site. So we'll click on this. Now we'll use the narrative loop.com. We'll click on create. And so if you now go to our site within here, we're gonna copy this IP address. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the place where we own the domain. So for example, I own this domain through Hostinger and we're basically gonna create an A record. By the way, I'll have a link down below to the instructions since there are a few different ways you can do it. So I'm gonna put this as A, leave this as at. I'm gonna paste our IP address right here, leave this as this and we'll click on add record. So another thing you wanna do is come here to SSL and you're gonna wanna make sure that there is an SSL certificate installed. So if there's nothing here, you'll come here to actions, click on new let's encrypt certificate and then create and install right here. Once you do that, you'll be able to log into your WP admin. Just go to your URL slash WP dash admin and you'll use the login information to log in there. I know it sort of got complicated at the end. And if you're having some trouble with setting it up, I basically just go to all the resources that Hostinger gives you and follow their instructions. Again, I'll have a link to those instructions down below. But really the whole setup process is gonna be different depending on what you want to use your VPS for. There are many specialized functions for a VPS. For example, if you wanna run your own NAN server, there's a special way to do that. I'll actually have a link down below to a video where I show you exactly how to do that. That's exactly what I do with my VPS to basically save a ton of money on NAN. Yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. Again, depending on what use case you want your VPS for, I would just install the exact application that's gonna match that. I do recommend choosing an operating system with a panel. That just makes it a lot easier for you guys. Unless you're very technical, then you maybe you can just choose one of the plain ones. But yeah, VPSs have been amazing for me. It's what I use used to host my websites as well as my NAN server. It's just a bit more complicated than shared hosting, but you get a lot more speed, a lot more resources. And yeah, it's like having your own apartment rather than having a bunk bed within a dorm room. And as you guys saw, it's extremely affordable, just about five or $6 per month. And yeah, anytime a friend asks me, hey, Charlie, what should I use for my VPS? I point them to Hostinger. It's what I personally use myself. And they're just super affordable. They have tons of resources and you get a lot of bang for your buck. So again, I'll have a link down below to Hostinger. Make sure to use code CHARLIECHING at checkout to save an additional 10%. And yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys set up your VPS. The best way to learn is to actually, you know, get your hands dirty, play around with it, and that's the best way to learn. If you guys got any value from this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content just like this. I do a ton of tutorial videos, videos about entrepreneurship, finance, all stuff to help you live a financially successful life. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.